Okay, so um, a little, you know, video about my first impression of Philippines so far. I think I love the place. I mean, I feel at home. Of course, it's awkward when you see people staring at you, you know, but I mean, that's part of being a foreigner and a person of color in a different country. Um, so let's start, you know, let's start. I'll surely be coming back. I didn't get, I have to, you know, gather money and then plan for a Boracay or, you know, an island hopping kind of trip because, I mean, that's what I could afford for now. So, yeah, I'll surely be coming back. I mean, one thing I liked about the whole thing was the fact that being Ghanaian, I don't need a visa. So, that visa, the whole visa hassle is gone. So, that was, I mean, the very first, like, good thing about this whole trip, you know, that I don't have to worry about, you know, getting a visa. I just get my passport, my, you know, yellow card, and off I go with my ticket, of course, and hotel reservation. And I'm here. Of course, with some money. Yeah. So, the airport, um, I arrived in late in the night. Um, I didn't really get to see much, but from what I saw, it's just like, you know, it's no different from the Ghanaian airport. Yeah, maybe you can say the Ghanaian airport is um, a little nicer because maybe it's newer. But basically, it seemed like the same anyway. The bathrooms were also really, I mean, nice. So, yeah, there wasn't really much difference up, except what I already mentioned. The people, the people are nice, especially, you know, the service and, you know, everyone in the service industry. I guess they know what it means to, you know, be in the service industry. And so they put in that effort. And it's nice, you know. Having to, you know, so even if you want to tip the person, you do it because you actually did appreciate the service and not because you have to, you know. Yeah, of course, in some places, some instances you have to, it's kind of part of your service, whatever. But then, like, the, the way they serve you, you're actually even happy to do it, you know. Like, in other places where you be gradually do it, like, here yeah, the service is good enough for the tip. So, if you want to tip them, I think, yeah, you can go ahead and do it because, I mean, you really like the service. I haven't really gotten a bad service so far, no. So yeah, that's it. And um, for the food, 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 I'm here to really try Filipino food. Like that's embarrassing. That is really bad. Like how, how have, have I been here for like, like six days, seven days now, and then I haven't even tried their food. Truth is, I realize I don't really like sweet and sour and those types of food. Like I like my Japanese. I like my you know local food, but local Ghanaian food and you know certain food but uh, yeah I haven't really given it a try yet so I might on my next visit or maybe today I'm going to the mall but if I do I'll let you know what I think of it so far the food here has been good for the you know the, the, the price and the prices haven't been bad so that's a good thing you know there's a price for everyone expensive middle low extremely low whatever budget you have you should find something to eat um and then um to my favorite the mall they have the nicest malls i've ever seen like seriously you know before i came here i thought ghana had malls i mean what ghana has is maybe department stores or something like when you come here this is what you call a mall you know a real mall so i went to, i had the opportunity of going to a mayala mall which is one of my favorites because of the Genki Sushi they have there. But then they also have some really nice arcade. You know, if you want to play games, you can go. Um, I went to Mall of Asia. I also enjoyed it there. That place is big with a lot of different um, types of restaurants for any cuisine. I'm sure you find there. And then um, there was, um, you know, they even have the Pindos there. Yeah, that was interesting. And then for, I also went to, which other mall was that? The Venice Mall. And yeah, that was my favorite uh, in terms of scenery. Like, it's, it's just like in Venice. Not that I've been there before, but I've seen the pictures. And I mean, it's a good duplicate. So yeah, it makes me want to visit Venice. Of course, like you see the pictures, it might not even, Venice might not even be as nice as this mall was. But yeah, this mall was really cute. Really, really cute. And then like it was so huge like I kept going round and round and round like I couldn't even find my exit like it looked similar you know 
So like I go here and I'm like, wait, am I not back to the same place I started from? Yeah, I could just here trying to get out to do like a maze. But it was interesting because there are really nice places all around. You can just relax and enjoy the atmosphere. So yeah, the malls is just one of the highest points for me here. So if you come to Manila, make it a point, you know, to just explore the malls. You don't really have to buy anything, just you know, window shop, try on some nice clothes like I did this. Um yeah, just enjoy the place. Um, yeah. And then I think one thing is um, inside the other malls it was cold, so actually a little cold because of the air condition. So when I was going to Venice Mall, I actually took a jacket. Funny enough, it wasn't cold in Venice Mall, but in the Ayala and then the Mall of Asia they were cold. So yeah, that's a little something to take into consideration. And then in the future, if I decide to come back, of course I'll be coming back, I would want to book a hotel that is closer to the malls. If, you know, the malls, the going to the malls is one of the main reasons why you are coming back here. Because the taxi fares are not cheap, you know, transportation is not that cheap. So if you get a place that's closer to the mall where you can walk to and from, I think it's the best. So yeah, that's one thing I learned, you know. Even if... I mean, it's just a nice place you can, you know, sleep and then since your main focus is the more, you just get up and go and spend the whole day and then come back home, you know. So yeah, you know, you want to take that into consideration, whatever is the focus of your trip is, and then plan accordingly. And then, um, yeah, the last, I think, is the taxi. For the majority of my taxi trips, um, they've been good, they've been good, but well, for the last one, I, the last but one taxi trip, taxi that I took, um, I, had, I went to the Venice Mall in the evening because I wanted to see the lights and everything, and so when I was done, it was around, I think, 8.39. thirty nine. I, you know, just stopped one of the taxis by the road and then... I told you the name of the hotel I was going to. He said, oh, okay, let's go. And then like, what, 30 minutes later, I'm like, we should have been there like 20 minutes ago. Okay, who are we? And then, remind you, this guy is like passing through all the slums. I'm like, it's getting uncomfortable here. And it's in the night. I'm a female black woman, you know, who, you know, is alone here in an unknown country without, you know, who doesn't know anybody here. So it's getting a little sketchy when he just, you know, Avoiding the main road and passing through all these intact, um, you know, these slums and things like that. I'm like, uh, where are we going? He's, are we not almost? Are we not there yet? And he's like, oh, we're almost there. And then he takes me to a t totally different um, hotel. I'm like, what? I told you I was going to this particular hotel. What are we doing here? He's like, oh, I thought you said we should go to this this hotel. Really stupid. Like, how do the two names even ring? There are two different pronunciations, you know. This was just this man's way of trying to scam me. And before coming, I seen someone's, um, you know, video where they said it was actually a, man, a male and female, a boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, they took a taxi and the guy, it was just an ugly incident. So, I just decided to keep my cool, you know, whatever it is. He has already scammed me, what can I do? So I ended up paying more than I should have paid because now we have to move from this hotel to my hotel. So yeah, just the lesson learned is just make sure you and the driver especially understand exactly where he's supposed to take you. Make it clear, you know, so that there's no misunderstanding anyway. Because at the end of the day, you'll be the one in, 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 a, in a fix and not him, you know. So just, just you know, make that clear. Just to make that clear, make sure your driver understands where you are going before you proceed, before it becomes another, you know, horrible, unpleasant experience. So yeah, that was one bad thing about the whole place. And one nice night thing also was the fact that there were so many police, police people around, you know. It's made, it gives you that sense of security that is needed. Um, so yeah, it was nice. I mean, I don't really go walking around in isolated places. That's not sensible. But yeah, it's nice, you know, when you see the policemen around, people actually, there seem to be some sort of order, you know, at the major places. So that was nice. And yeah. So I'm here now, having eaten all day. God, my eating schedule has been so bad, like... 
going to eat Genki Sushi for the last time and then just walk around the mall and then I'll come to take a rest, my take a nap and then go for my, go to the airport when the time is due. And that's all for now. I'll see you when I do. And yeah, that's, that's, that's it for my first impression of Philippines, you know, Manila, that's why I came. I hope to come back in the next few years and to explore the islands. I hear they are really beautiful and that the president is also taking steps to make sure like they stay beautiful. So that's a good thing. So yeah, I liked it and before coming I heard a lot of negative stories. And you know there's the volcanoes, they are what? It's a third world country, blah blah blah. I mean if you practice the basic um, safety precautions, I think you should be good to go, you know. I mean, just like any other country, in a way. I mean, don't we all have <laughs> our negative past? So yeah, it was an interesting trip. I'm glad I made it. Although it was, it took forever to get here. The flight, it was way too long. Goodness, I hate long flights. So yeah, that's one deterrent do. So next time I come here, I have to be doing some stops here and there because I'm not taking that long as flight all the way here. Like, it's just too tiring. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to the flight, of course, but yeah. Have to go now so that's all i hope you learned a thing or two or at least you just enjoyed me talking about my impression of philippines that's all for now and i wish you a wonderful day bye